Hi, this is Phil Shapiro in Tacoma Park. I have been really enjoying this new book, Arduino Project Handbook by Mark Geddes, published by No Starch Press. So this is a, a handbook with 25 practical projects for Arduino. And paging through the book, I can tell you it's a labor of love. Uh, Mark must have spent a lot of time assembling this um, and his caring shows. Um, and it's an interesting read. Um, the, um, uh, let me just take you through the different parts that I've, uh, I've set aside here. I got some, uh, here's a, a scan. So um, uh, you get an introduction to the Arduino and then you can choose whichever project. You don't have to go through the projects in order. The projects are quite ranging, all the way from uh, a memory game, joystick control laser, remote control server, uh, motion sensor alarm, and hum humidifier kind of stuff. So there's a whole range of different things here. Um, on this page over here, he says, what encouraged him to write the book? Because there are a lot of Arduino tutorials out there, um, but some of them are better than others, and they don't have the consistency. So here's 25 projects where there's a high consistency of the quality of each project, both in the descriptions and in the photographs. Um, this book is suitable for Windows, Mac, and Linux, he explains. and. Um, the chapter that really grabbed my interest was about the servo motor. So a servo motor is a motor with an arm that you can position to a specific angle by sending server a coded signal. So um, this is a scan I have of that page. And the part that really intrigued me is that you can control the server motor with a remote control, like an old TV remote. and um, for a person like me who likes to uh, conduct pranks, I was thinking there's not only hundreds of pranks, but thousands of pranks that you could do with a remote control and a server motor and, um, and an unsuspecting coworker, family member, or classmate, or whatever. Um, dorm, dorm room uh, person that you should, dorm room, so dorm roommate. So, um, other things I like about the book, very visually attractive, very visually attractive. Um, the layout, a lot of effort went into that. And I like at the end of the book, they have a very nice appendix of components. Here's the appendix of components. Um, very nice uh, photographs and explanations and drawings. Uh, explains about the breadboard. Um, the potentiometer, uh, the humidity sensor, the tilt ball switch, um, the photoresistor, RFID reader. Well, gee, th there is a bunch of stuff in here. This is an interesting book. Um, I noticed that No Starch Press has already published other Arduino books. So uh, the Arduino Workshop from back in by John Boxel back in May 2013. That's a good book. And then the Arduino Playground, that's another one from the fall of 2016. And then next year, there is the Spark Fund Guide to Arduino. So there's multiple books about Arduino from No Starch Press, and this one is a winner. The other ones are probably also very good, but this one, I can tell you, is a winner. Um, I really enjoyed reading it. Um, so it's uh, a suitable for makerspace or public library or school library or all three. Suitable maybe as a present for your niece or your grandmother or any other geek you know who, who loves to get into this kind of stuff.